My name is Song Dong. I'm from China. The thing is about gold, wood, water, um, fire, and earth. These are the five basic elements according to the Chinese uh, theories uh, from the nature, and uh, I incorporated these five elements into my work. My work will actually require participation from the audience or from people who actually come to look at the exhibition. Uh, so actually, um, I have a hidden element, which is the sixth element, uh, that is the people, audience, that are coming to see my work. Uh, when the audience come, they could actually use a um, Chinese brush and then put it in, uh, dip it in the water, and then actually they could paint or write something on the stone uh, on his work. No matter what you write or what you draw on, on the works, on the stones, um, it will eventually disappear. So there's no conclusion, there's no ending, there's no termination, and we don't know where the end is. The interesting part is that uh, no matter how much you write, uh, you actually wrote a lot, but you cannot see it in the end. Um, and it's this uh, edge feeling, or the you know, feeling I'm on the edge uh, between having something and having nothing. And this is uh, what I find particularly intriguing for myself. So, uh, through keeping a diary uh, by writing the diary using water and Chinese brush. Um, I've actually accumulated a lot of uh, good experience and good memories for myself. And I would like to share with uh, the audience about my practice. Um, when I was a child, uh, my father used to practice, uh, asked me to practice uh, writing on, on uh, old newspapers um, because we don't have a lot of money to buy uh, proper ink and proper paper, and um, and if I make a mistake or if I didn't write very well, I would just blame it on the paper or the quality of the ink or the brush. In ancient times in China, all the master of the Chinese calligraphy, they, um, uh, they all write on stone uh, uh, using, using water to practice their, uh, their writing. So my father told me uh, you can actually abandon the uh, old newspaper and and start using writing start writing on the stone instead. It's actually a game for me uh, in childhood, and uh, now I'm actually a father myself, and I teach my daughter to use the same technique and uh, the same method to write on stone with water as well. I think that this practice actually have linked three generations of people in my family. Using, uh, using water and Chinese brush to write on stone. My father has passed away, and uh, seemingly his, his life is it's, it's over and uh, terminated. But no, I carried it through to the next generation, to my gener generation and to the next generation as well. So um, it's a reflection of our lives being, um, uh, uh, being without any destination or without any end. Uh, we start from nowhere and we end nowhere. No matter what form of art it is, it's about human communication and uh, nurturing the mind. Um, some people think that art, you cannot put it into any use or there's actually no use for art. Uh, what can you use it for? And some, but it actually has a lot of advantage or you can actually use it. It's, it's the food for your mind, uh, food for your mind, and it, it's a change of concept uh, if you find it inspiring to see an object. And here I'm just presenting my own angle uh, or part of my life, my experience to the audience uh, through this festival. 